Hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I've posted anything, um, just because I've been, I've been busy doing other bits and pieces. I did actually do a video where I compared my uh, Mooning Blue to an actual bottle of Blue Moon, um, but I didn't think it was that great a video. So it's a case of, um, I thought, you know what, let's uh, not post a, a shit video uh, that people aren't going to rate that much. Partially because I don't think that I'm uh, the most elegant of uh, speakers. So it's a case of um, just the highlights of that. Um, I think that I've produced a really nice beer in the Mooning Blue. Um, is it similar to the Blue Moon? Um, well, it's definitely you can kind of um, tell it's kind of a wheat, well, you can tell it's a wheat beer, but um, only by taste and kind of smell. Um, and it's a case of uh, the main differences being that I got the uh, the colour way, way out. Um, it's a case of obviously Blue Moon's meant to be that nice kind of uh, orangey, uh, very pale colour. And what I produced was a lot more red, a lot darker. Um, but you know what? What I produced is still a good tasting beer. Actually, I think it probably tastes a bit better and um, yeah, you know what, it's what you produce at home and uh, you know, take pride in what, yeah, what you do. I'll be doing a couple of variations on it and maybe trying to lighten up that colour in the future. I think the hop additions and the uh, bitter orange peel and coriander, I think that was on point. Um, I'm actually going to be uh, serving the Mooning Blue for uh, a friend's birthday. Funnily enough, the, the same friend that uh, ended up pissing in his wardrobe after drinking too much Blue Moon, so we'll see if this happens again. Um, but yeah, so I thought, actually, let's give you a video that's worthwhile, and I'll show you where we are with the um, control panel. So here we have the control panel. Um, at the moment it's only um, wired into just a standard plug socket um, so it's a case of obviously it's not um, suitable for actually doing any proper brewing yet so um, once I get the house mains wired up correctly they'll then be plugged in here so um, I've also not connected the elements yet um, so we've got that still to do, but let's just show you what we do have. So we'll turn that on. So we've got key switch. Oh, one sec, don't want to ruin it all for you. So key switch, light that shows here is on. All right, then each of the PIDs are independent and independently powered. So uh, for me, this allows us to uh, not have to worry about the HLT, I mean the boil kettle from coming on too soon. And actually once, um, once the mash and the sparge is all done, oop, I can just turn off the uh, HLT if I want to. All right, got two extra switches down here. These are currently not connected to anything. These are going to be for the two pumps when I eventually uh, hook them up. Um, haven't even purchased the new pumps yet, but that's the plan. Um, you'll see that I, with the mash PID, I've uh, set the temperature to zero or the um, goal temperature. So it is just a, a temperature gauge. Um, so didn't want it to be trying to send out any, uh, it's not connected to anything, but you know, why make it do work when it shouldn't have to? With the uh, PIDs, it's a case of um, yep, HLT and boil kettle. Um, once they're all set up, I've not uh, done proper calibration or anything on them yet, but they will be powered or independently uh, powered by the uh, switch up here, which will allow the power to go to the respective elements shown by these two lights. Um, the 
probes are all attached and working so this should be for the uh, hot liquor tank so if I hold that hopefully oh. yep so that's been going up it obviously won't be going up enough to uh, turn it off. I've got it set at 56 degrees for some reason at the moment. But yeah, so that's that showing that it works. Um, and I could do the same for the other two, but I won't be. So at the moment, uh, I still need to, um, as I say, hook up the elements to these. Um, probably won't be doing that uh, until I've got my, my mains connection because I'll probably try and get another brew being done on the manual setup before then but uh yeah thought i'd just give you a little bit of a show of what we're up to and hopefully that's uh all good i mean i know that the actual case looks a little bit battered um and it is i also still need to plug in a little bit of a hole here we've got our um heat sinks on the outside there so that's good um and i'll probably look to get a fan installed as well keeping it nice and cool in there but other than that you know that's what we've got going on and um yeah so that's about it guys um just a, a short one hopefully uh, you can like and subscribe if you're not already um link to the old instagram and bits and pieces i've shared a few more videos and images on there of what i'm doing and also what i'm drinking um really not drinking a lot of beer at the moment uh because i'm trying to lose the old weight but um bought myself a few nice nice bottles of whiskey recently so uh there's some images of there on the old instagram if you're interested and um yeah till next time guys uh Take it easy and I'll catch you later.